Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into these, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here is the heavyweight power threat, Francis Ngannou. A couple of outliers on his resume, the weird fight against Derek Lewis, but he came back in a big way. Back-to-back -back knockouts of Curtis Blades and Cain Velasquez that put him right back into heavyweight title contention. If you're a fan of the sport and you see a young fighter like Francis Ngannou, that's exactly the type of response you want from him when he had a rough go. Go back to the drawing board. Come back re-motivated. Focus on the task at hand. Start knocking people out. Get back. Use what got you to the show. In the beginning, in the knockout of Blades, the knockout of Kane showed that Francis Ngannou is once again ready to move himself back to the title pitch. And his knockout of Alistair Overeem in 2017, the knockout of the year, Spaceship. according to most. Spaceship. Overeem still in order. Yes, he is. Yes. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Ngannou is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 10 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Surreal Bagamon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator and God. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels off. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem. Put out Velasquez. Put out Dos Santos. And he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons known in the martial arts. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Just misses with a left hook there. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice hook lands. He went high on that one. Big kick. 
Both guys really throwing with authority. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Great punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Way to hide that leg skin. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, big knee there. the inside leg kick. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Round two is next. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, second round is getting yeah, underway. Right. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters, Sometimes it's very even, that's what we saw in round number one. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. They continue to exchange. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Yeah, he fixed it all up. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Nice stupid punch. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Ghana. Let him go. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh! He's got his back now. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting nice choked. Boy, right, that's the end of round number two. Get out there. 
right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Quick corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Out of range with that kick attempt. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master. That's it! He's done! He's done! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.